Yo, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. It's your boy, Conga. Now, listen, man, y'all been showing so much support recently. I want to thank you all so much for sticking with my channel, for staying here on this journey of making it into YouTube. And man, look, let's just get right into the video, all right? I'm not going to wibble wobble around it, okay? Alls, right? Everybody has alls, right? Everybody makes alls, especially for this game, you know? Everybody uses alls for different things, you know, like gems, grinding or whatever you may need people use alts right and sometimes you get lucky when you're using an alt and you may get a secret or you may get a mythical that you could not get on your main and for that reason ladies and gentlemen for that reason alone today's video is the best way to use alts now there's many ways to use alts in this game a couple of which is better than others and recently we have discovered pretty much the best possible way to use all your alts in the best manners without really needing to do anything and simply being afk now before i show you that method which is honestly really easy to do let me go ahead and tell you the other ways that you can use your alts for you to become basically overpowered so you may be wondering you know how do i use all my alts like you may have 10 you know you may have less you may have more but at the end of the day, you want to know the best way to use alts. Now, one of the methods is obviously doing the story mode method. Now, this is to purely get XP, purely raise up your level, and if you will, to get a ton of gems. Now, this is not the best method possible simply because of the fact that obviously you need to understand that when you're doing this method, there's always a chance that it could cut out in the middle of it, or there's always a chance that you may get kicked because you lag out or something like that or it might break the tiny task eventually so it's not the most you know best possible method but it is a method that many of you may want to try just in case it works for you now the way to do this method is simply go on ahead to play and obviously go ahead into one of these uh tubes like bro why you have to steal it bro come on man so you go in here and enter the play okay now the one that you're gonna pick is windmill village why you may ask is because this one has the highest percentage chance of you not spawning somewhere off the map or off the grid to where you can't place your units so this is, will be the best possible place to do so so you would click on it you would click on like chapter one and click confirm okay boys now when you do this obviously you will get you know into the game i'm not going to exactly show you how to do it but if you are interested in the exact method let me know and i can show you but it's pretty simple and it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do is pick windmill go in it make all your odds and do the tiny task method if you don't know again i'll show you or you can search it up on youtube many people have done it but that's just one of the many ways that you yourself can use all your alts another way is obviously infinite mode but in my opinion infinite mode is a bit more dragged and in my opinion gives you less gems than story mode will if you do it properly because of the replay system but in my opinion i wouldn't use infinite but if you by any chance have a divine unit or something like that which is basically an overpowered unit and you think that you can get pretty far into infinite mode using tiny task with your units then you can go ahead and try that but i just simply will not recommend that now obviously you would do this with like four different odds it's pretty much enough in infinite mode for you to be able to do good but uh, with that being said, though, just make sure you understand one more thing before the final method that using alts, it makes the game kind of boring. It makes the game kind of lame, in my opinion. And yes, a lot of people use alts. And yes, you know, you could argue that it makes the game worth grinding. But in my opinion, I mean, I'm going to pop on the screen a couple pictures that I've noticed people doing. And it's just sad. You know, we did not see this type of inflation with aa because of the fact that you didn't need to do that to earn your gems you know like for example if somebody were to do that in aa you would simply not feel the difference you would simply not enjoy it okay and so because of that reason i'm gonna have to say that you know i wouldn't personally use that a lot of people are using alts and i was like i might as well show you guys all the methods that you can use them to their full potential so that's why i'm making this video in general just letting you guys know but with that being said um Let's go to the final method and the most recent method that people are starting to use. If you use this method, you can basically expect yourself to earn around 200k every single day. You can only get 200k a day if you spend Robux. And it's not a little, it's a decent amount of Robux. If you decide not to spend Robux, which is totally understandable, you can still earn yourself 200k in three days, which 
for not doing anything it's quite frankly the best possible method and the method that i'm going to be showing you guys is the afk zone method now this method came to recent you know regards you know because of the fact that so many people got millions and millions of gems and everybody is wondering how but it's not just normal people especially youtubers are starting to do this because one it's really easy and something you can easily do and second of all it's quite frankly the best method if you just spend robux but again not everyone can spend robux and not everybody wants to spend robux so if you don't want to spend robux like we're talking zero robux you can still get 200k gems but it would take you three days instead of one day so if you're still okay with that if you're cool with that then you can go ahead and go to the afk zone and simply afk with 20 alts now 20 alts might seem like a lot and you need to get them to level 10 to be honest with you guys it's pretty much the best method there is i mean you have to spend a little bit of time grinding each one to 10 but it's really not that hard especially if you use your main account to do so with like four each time it goes by pretty quickly and the best thing about this method is that you can go afk you can go to school you can go to work you can do whatever you want to do and just simply come back when you have the gems and then spin on the secret and just in case you get the secret on one of the alts you'll be basically good to go for the rest of the game so you know that's just a little yap session for y'all but basically the whole point of this is there's three methods currently story mode method infinite method and afk method now if you want to know how to do the story mode and infinite method i can obviously show you guys if you let me know that you're interested in it or you can search it up on youtube there's many other youtubers doing it and they have a ton of views because of it so go ahead and check them out i guess they're explaining it quite well because people are really enjoying the videos this is my methods this is three methods that everybody's using right now and everybody is really getting a ton of gems from now you might be looking at my gems and, and looking like i'm dry and you are right you know i am pretty dried out and the reason because i just don't feel like doing all the all stuff now one it's just too much like annoyance like i always have to make sure it doesn't break always have to make sure it's working it's just too much stress for no reason i'm just not doing all that for you know a game that's probably gonna die once av comes out so i just don't think it's worth it personally but again if you yourself are looking for methods that you can use your alts in the most efficient way this video will help you do so so if you like the video leave a like subscribe i'm always here you know you can just always pop in and if you guys have any questions let me know down below and i'll make sure to get to you and again as always see you guys on the next one stay safe and peace out